Tonight, the Charleston community honored those killed in the Mother Emanuel shooting by talking about issues that plague this part of the country mm -hmm. as well as the Charleston area. The Charleston Forum hosted a discussion on race relations here in the city of Charleston and beyond. 16 speakers participated, including Charleston Mayor John Tetlinburg, former Charleston Mayor Joe Riley, Reverend Nelson Rivers, and Jennifer Pinckney, the wife of the late Reverend Clemente Pinckney. News 2's Sophia Arizozo was there and has a story. A community united in conversation. Two years after one man's deadly effort to divide. Where do we go from here? Reverend Sherrod Risher says the Charleston Forum is part of a larger healing process. It's important to continue the conversations because in the conversations, I believe we will get to know each other heart to heart. A step, she says, her mother, Ethel Lee Lance, shot and killed in Mother Emanuel, would have wanted. To know that things are happening, even in her death, to bring about some unity, I think that she's just soaring in heaven and watching down on all of us. A conversation, she says, so that can set an example for the country. If this place that has been so steeped in racial tension can begin these hard conversations, then that's a role model. Dialogue with leaders across the United States on education, policing, Confederate monuments, and criminal justice. It's important in the aftermath of this horrific event to focus on what those people who died stood for. Senator Marlon Kimson says he hopes the conversation creates policy. If we work together, we can set an example for inclusion for all. Concrete change in the name of the nine. The forum was broken down into four panels. Each had a moderator as well as a series of guest speakers. They discussed a wide range of issues, including Charleston's past, community policing, and Confederate monuments. Reporting in studio, Sophia Zoza, News 2.